Hello, I'm George, and I have a question for you. How do you make space for research in your role? Not sure? If I were to ask you how research influences my care, could you tell me? Would you be able to tell me about the clinical research delivery teams in your area who help people like me to take part in research every day? Perhaps you might tell me about a nurse, a midwife or an allied health professional in your area and you might tell me about the research they are leading on to improve my care. I'm sure you would be able to tell me that I will benefit from being cared for in a research active organisation like yours, right? Could you do that? If the answer is yes, then you are a great example of the sort of person I want to have involved in my care. The answer is no, or you're not so sure, then you just need to find a way to make space for research. There have been lots of positive changes in relation to research in the NHS. People like me are now much more involved in deciding what research needs to be done. Almost every NHS organisation is now engaged in research. And this has led to research delivery teams supporting people like me to take part in research to help improve our care in the future. I have also noticed more support for people like you to be able to learn about and even develop your own research if you want to. Seeing nurses, midwives and allied health professionals leading research into my care is really important to me because you the people taking care of me every day. There are national funding schemes, support from your local clinical research network, and there are people here in your organisation working with you and behind the scenes to support you and your teams to be able to turn research ideas into reality. However, there are still challenges, and we need to do a lot more to make space for research. There are still lots of people just like you who are not aware of how important it is to support research. There are people just like you who worry about the impact on staffing levels if one of the team is released from practice to develop research. And there are people just like you who are a bit frightened of it. But perhaps this is because they don't understand how they can fit research into a busy service especially when there are lots of people like me to take care of. I know, I know, these challenges just add to the long list of others that you face in your role every day. But if you are really going to make a difference to my care, you need to work to address them and build on the excellent work that's already going on to foster a positive research culture. How about discussing the impact research is having on your practice as part of one-to-ones. How about planning how you and your team develop research in a more proactive way as part of the whole team strategy? How about making research part of the conversation at every team meeting? If you can try these things, of course there will be challenges, but research will become weaved into the fabric of your service and your whole team will start to see, understand and even influence how research positively impacts on my care. So, a couple of final challenges for you. Can you share and shout about the important message that research is a core part of my clinical care? Can you stop talking about releasing people from practice and change the conversation to making space for them to do research? And can you take time to encourage others to do the same? If you can, you'll be halfway there and I will be a happier and better cared for patient. You just have to make space for research.